Hello everyone, this is Mulham from Mulham Trading and in today's video I'll be sharing a very easy and simple easy to follow trading strategy that is based on ICT and smart money concepts. So when I was learning ICT I felt so confused because there was nothing specific to follow, you know? It's like a very vague trading strategy. I mean there is there's no strategy that I can follow. And there are a lot of YouTube videos that claiming, oh, there is an easy um, trading strategy. But basically, it's not. Honestly, it's not. Because I've been trying to follow most of them. There's nothing that is very clear and easy to follow, except a few ones that are still hard to find in the chart when you have thousands of candles and thousands of hours of trading. It's still hard to follow so this is one of the strategies that one of my friends that one of my friends shared with me and it's a very easy and simple strategy so we only have one hour to look into opportunities and then in this hour we're going to decide if we're going to enter in this trade or not i just want to make stuff simple to you guys because i've been going through this a lot of beginners don't understand YouTube videos explaining ICT and other strategies. So this is, I guarantee, this strategy will be easy even for beginners. If you're looking into ICT stuff, even for a week, you will, you will be able to do this strategy and get some money off it. So let's get into it. I'll be explaining the strategy. So we have this Tokyo session. This is the Tokyo session. This is where Tokyo session started, ends here. Then the London session starts here, ends here. This is eight hours. This is eight hours. There is one hour in between. That's that's like the break between Tokyo and London. And this break, in this strategy, we first need to see a range on the Tokyo session. So most of the time there will be a range in Tokyo session and then there will be a huge volume in London and New York, especially the London and New York session. So we see those, we see those equal lows right here. And we also see those equal lows right here. And we have this high, the Tokyo session. We also have those equal lows right here. This is a range. So this is a range. This is a range. We see equal lows. So it's 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 not really moving in one side, but in in two sides in a range. What we want to see is on this one hour break, just this one hour break, we need to see a breakout either to the upside or to the downside. We need to see a false breakout, which means a false breakout is when there is a range, and then we see a breakout and immediately go back to the range. This is considered a breakout. So, where do we see it here? We see that the price went down, broke this low. This is for me also considered uh, a fake breakout, but then we see a confirmation, a bigger confirmation, which is the breakout of the low of the tokyo and the equal lows so this is my confirmation right here this is so i'll be considering those a breakout but for a higher win rate if you're aiming for a higher win rate just look for a breakout of the tokyo high and the tokyo low this is the the one that has higher win rate so we see a breakout right here. This is the breakout. And then it immediately goes up. After this breakout, we see this breakout. Let me mark it like this. This is the false breakout or fake breakout. After this breakout, we need to see a change of character or a market shift. What does it mean? It means that we at least break this swing high. So. My market shift or my change of character is going to be right here. But then we make this high, this swing high, 
and then a swing low which means that my change of character now is going to be right here this is my change of character this is my market shift this is where my market shift is going to happen and then it happens we see a market shift right here which means this is we see a change of character right here so now after change of character we go back to the order block or the i mean the four the false breakout and we consider it as a order block so this is an order block we mark our order block to say oh this is the order block right here drag it to the right side we enter after this change of character we mark our order block we have our position which is a long position just at the at the beginning of the order block our stop loss is just below the order block just below now we have what do we target so we target the liquidity the buy side liquidity the sell side liquidity some pd arrays so one of the liquidity i see right here which was not taken is this one this was a liquidity see it was not taken so we had all this movement this liquidity was not taken so this is my first target or maybe your first target is this swing high this liquidity too so maybe this one but i'll go for this one since i know it's gonna break this one after taking my order block and then we have we also have this liquidity right here the equal highs this is a liquidity so this can be my second target but my last target is always the tokyo high so i'll be targeting the tokyo high but taking some partials on those equal highs equal lows liquidity buy side liquidity sell side liquidity all of those PD arrays so this is my final target make sure you take some partials before like immediately at those liquidity zones since it may may go the other side very quickly so just make sure you take some partials and and make sure you move your stop loss at a uh, break even just to make sure you don't you don't lose a trade after taking your profit so yeah it's as easy as this those are the steps i got you some steps here so what do we look for we look for a false breakout of a range or the high and low actually in the one hour break which is between tokyo session and london session and then after that we need to wait for a change of character and then we enter on the order block targeting either the liquidity zones levels or the tokyo high and low so let's say this is the this is the tokyo tokyo session and then now we started the one hour and then suddenly it breaks making another and then goes back very very quick and then we had this correction right here and then there is a market shift so after our market shift we need to see a movement to the order block and then targeting the low tokyo tokyo low then yeah that's it so this is the range then we see the breakout then change of character right here and then goes back to the order block to get our limit order and then all the way to tokyo low so this is the strategy very easy uh let's let's take some some examples to practice more on this strategy so if you guys don't have an indicator that shows you the sessions the tokyo session and decision and your session you just go and have this fx market sessions this indicator is the best one i've ever used it's very simple it doesn't take lots of space and it shows you the high and the low of the session this is the high this is the low and it starts from here 
to here. So this is the indicator that I'm using. And this strategy can be used in either one minute or five minutes time frame. Okay, so I have this example right here. So we see that in this break right here, on this break between London and Tokyo, we saw a movement to the downside. And we can see that when it started here, when the break started, it took this low, it took this low, but not the Tokyo low. See, it took this low. Oh, let's, let me mark it. See, this was, was, was taken. This is liquidity right here. It was taken and then immediately to the upside. So, what do you want to see now? I want to see a market shift. Where is my market shift? Since I'm in the one minute time frame, I'll consider this a market shift. My price goes right here, goes back, and now breaking this market shift. So I'll consider my market shift on this high, this swing high. So now this is my market shift right here. And then after this market shift, I need to find my order block. So this is where the fake breakout happens. And then this movement, this movement makes the change of character. So this is my very last candle before this impulsive move to the upside. So this is my order block here, this candle. Right here I can I can include this wick right here. Okay. Uh so now what do I target? First target this liquidity zone right here. This one right here was not taken. Liquidity right here. What do I target too? This liquidity and then the Tokyo high. So here, this liquidity right here also. And then the Tokyo high. So I'll be taking partials on this one, this level, this level, and the I'll close the whole position on the Tokyo high. So where do I get filled? I get filled here, uh, not here, because change of character happens here. So I'll be having my Limit order set up right here. It's gonna get filled either here or here. Long position right here. Then stop loss just below the order block. Take profit. First one is this level, which is 2.27. This level, which is 3.2, 3.2, and then this level, which is the Tokyo high. Which is five to one, but it does not get filled. Then, if I see, it takes my order. I mean, it doesn't take my order because I'll be out here. Now I'll be out here because I'll be having my. I'll be having my uh, stop loss at break even, and I'll be, I'll be stopped here. But I'll take this profit. And this one, so it will be. A three, a three to one. Okay, uh, we have another example also on the one minute chart. So we have this range, equal lows, almost equal lows. Wow, lows right here. We have a swing high right here that was broken. This is the Tokyo high, this is the Tokyo low. And we have some swing lows right here. We see the price. Broke this swing low and then I went down a little bit and then up right here. And then finally, at the middle of this break, it broke this Tokyo high. Even though you see the breakdown, the, the breakout here, the false breakout, and then it goes up, you can't count on this because this is this was. On the Tokyo session, so this was this was this wasn't a breakout too. 
Uh, this one is, as I said, the higher win rate is on the high or lows of the session. So this one, I will for sure take it. This one is a very, very um, good setup. It breaks the takes liquidity of the Tokyo high, and then it goes down. So, so it's, this is the breakout in the market. So this is the breakout right here. Now, what do we want to see? We want to see a market shift or a change of character. So. If you count, uh, I won't count this because this is the one minute chart. I won't count this, but I'll count this. And it got it got broken. So this is the change of character. This is my change of character. After seeing my change of character, I'll be choosing my order block. And I'll consider this order block right here. So this order block. Now, what do I target? Let's see. Let's see where we get failed, because it depends. Um, if there are some price action right here that I can target, maybe on the lender session, if it takes time to get us failed, there will be some other uh, areas of liquidity that we can consider too. So we go up. Let's drag it to the right side. Where do we get failed? Do we get failed? We get filled right here. Exactly. See? So we get filled right here. Now, what do we target? We can still target the Tokyo law since it was it was taken by the London, but it's it's not it's not by it's just by a week. And it's the one minute time frame. So I'll consider this as equal lows. And it is equal lows. See, so this is liquidity right here. So we have the liquidity right here. This is the first level. We also have some liquidity equal equal lows right here. So this level two. So we go short here. Stop loss just above. The order block and then take profit first level right here this is five to one and then all the way down here to this level this is 11 but it was not achieved that's because there is an order block right here see before this big move how many how many green candles in a row we have this red candle um, I mean, yeah, red candle, bearish right. candle. I guess this was failed. This order block was failed. You see, so you could instead make your order or make your um, take profit just at the beginning of this order block. Would be nine to one. So you could you could play with it. You could back this, and then you'll find lots of stuff that I can't um, put all of them in one video. I'm just giving you the idea and you can go back to it, have your own style of strategy, whatever you want. Okay, guys, so this is the last example I have for you. So we have this Tokyo range, we have this high, and then those equal highs right here. And then we also have this equal this this Tokyo low and we have this low too so we need to either see a breakout to the downside of this low or the Tokyo low which is better or the high low or those um, equal equal highs so we see a breakout to the downside a very big one which breaks the Tokyo high and as we said this is the best setup we can have break of either the high or the uh, the low or the high of the Tokyo session so we see the breakout now we want to see a comeback to the upside and we also want to see a market shift or a change of character where do we see it so we see upside still nothing because we have we had no 
market structure right here with highs and low you can go to the this is the five minute time frame you can go to the one minute and wait maybe we're gonna see something but for now let's stick to the five minutes because i talked this trade on the five minutes so we see a move to the upside downside and then a market shift right here so right here this is a change of character right here now what do we want to see let's mark up our order block so before this move or you can take this move too because this one was a big one and it creates this change of character so i'll take both of them this and that's that's my order block basically this candle which include this candle too but i'll include this low too because I, I i don't want to have that tight stop loss so i'll enter my position right here the stop loss just below the swing low or the order block and what do i target first target is the tokyo low or maybe this one but this is barely okay this is 2.5 we can take our first profit right here and then second profit is either those equal highs or the tokyo high right here and then we can also go for some liquidity you see this liquidity here from the past new york session those are equal highs we can also take those to take those ones this is liquidity right here I don't know if it was taken. I guess so. So, so first profit right here. Then we go all the way there to this liquidity because it's the closest liquidity. And then what do we do? We have after taking this Tokyo high, we get our uh, we take our stop loss to break even and wait for the trade. So let's see how okay so it okay it was a successful trade and it was 16 16 to 1 reward to risk ratio which is which is amazing if you make this one you can lose well, i don't know 15 trades after this this one can secure your whole month see how it smoothly takes this liquidity from here just by entering this order block and it was a very very specific area to or a perfect area to go up after all of this and based on my backtesting i feel like this strategy works more on your usd and then it works also on the smp 500 futures and other forex pairs so yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much guys for watching if you have any questions let me know down in the comments thank you so much